Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Advanced Vocabulary Quiz, Part 29. In this video, you must choose the correct vocabulary word for each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of your answers. Are you ready for another challenging quiz? Okay, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, one of the cardinal principles of English law is the respect for life. The word cardinal here is an adjective that means something of great importance or the most important thing. And in our example, the respect for life was one of these cardinal principles of English law. Okay, number two. And the answer is, the defeat in the election was taken with equanimity by the incumbent president. Equanimity here is a state, or like, let's say a, a calm mental state, after some difficult event. All right, and in this case, the difficult event was the defeat in the election, but the incumbent president, the president who was already in there, took it very calmly. All right, number three. And the answer is, the lawyer who bilked his clients out of millions of dollars was sent to prison yesterday. All right, if someone bilks someone else, they cheat or trick them. And this is especially dealing with money. All right, and in this case, the lawyer had cheated his clients. And they caught him and they sent him to prison. All right, number four. And the answer is, the police had to shout to be heard above the din caused by the protesters. All right, din is a loud and, let's say, a confusing mixture of noise. And in our example, the protesters were very loud, and the police had to shout so they could be heard over this din or this loud noise. All right, number five. And the answer is, operating that new computer was very easy for me, and anyone with a modicum of common sense could do it too. Modicum is a small amount of something. And in our example, the person is saying that anyone with a little bit or a small amount of common sense could do it. It was so easy. All right, number six. And the answer is, the police reported a spate of robberies last week in the downtown area. All right, spate is a large amount or a large number of something that happens. And it can be in a short period of time that these things happen. All right. And that's what happened in our example, the police reporting these robberies. All right, number seven. And the answer is, free health care, sacrosanct in many countries, is now beginning to be scrutinized globally because of its high cost. If something is sacrosanct, it's too important and respected to be changed. It's almost like it's a sacred thing and you can't change it. And that's the way free health care is, in our example here, in many countries. All right, number eight.
And the answer is, many people thought that the team's last win was a fluke because it had never played that well before. If something is a fluke, it happens by chance or is just plain luck. And that's what happened here in our example because the team won the game, but they had never played that well before. So the people didn't believe that they could do it on their own. It was just luck. All right, number nine. And the answer is, Martha was in a bit of a quandary about which of the job offers to accept. Now, if you're in a quandary, it means that you are confused about something and you don't know what to do. And in this case, Martha had many job offers and she didn't know which one to accept. All right, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, Alicia wrote a book documenting her trip around the world. Now, to document something is to create a record of it through either writing, or you could do it with film, or even photography. And in our example here, Alicia actually wrote a book to record what she did in her trip around the world. Got it? That's all for this video. Let me know how you did on the quiz in the comment section below. Thanks again for subscribing, everyone. I really appreciate it. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.